Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another episode of Captain of Industry coming at ya. Things are going well, and they're going pretty swell. We unleashed two of these bad mamma jammas onto our midst. They're equivalent of three of the trucks of these guys. These yellow, yellow cabbed. And I was hoping they were going to help us get a little bit ahead on dumping waste. Uh, in this case, rock... Mostly. Um, I got another one on the way. Do I only have two or do I have three of them then? Hang on. One, okay. Low diesel. Uh, we should be bringing in more oil. We defo are. Yep. Took care of all that. How is our health? Air pollution, 5%. Yep. Disease. Yep. I get it. I get it. I'm still going to see if we can complete the game without any medical care whatsoever. Uh, whenever I play, like, SimCity games, or games that I have, like, control over the healthcare system, I put a lot of emphasis into healthcare. Strong believer in universal healthcare, that kind of a thing. Uh, it doesn't even matter. Like, all the SimCity games, all the way down to, like, Utopia, the creation of a nation. Like, to really min-max population and workforce, it's really important get a hospital down immediately. First structure, at least one hospital. Get all that going on. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right. It's getting all walled. Oh, hell. Uh, actually, it says very busy. I have 300 some odd solar panels. That is all done. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. Do we actually have some leverage here? We kind of do now. Cool, cool, cool. Pretty soon we'll have a third? Don't know why I said that like a question mark. A third? We'll have a, th uh, a second, actually. Of a second Mega Mover truck. So that'll be good. Um, I don't have anything else to do or change right now. In the grand scheme of things... Nothing needs to be modified out here. Uh, we've already cleared everything. There's some deliveries we can make to increase our reputation. Meh. Not really feeling super strongly about it. We're about to finish microchip production level 2. Which would be amazing. Uh, let's see here. After microchip production level 2. Uh, arc furnace CO2 recycling. We'll knock out some of this other stuff. I'm not even going to do medical supplies. We could do assembly robotics. I don't need cargo depot level 4 or vehicles management level 6. Uh, rocket assembly launch. That would get us within game ending range. Which I'm not necessarily trying to rush. What I wanted to do is I wanted to accomplish several goals. First of all was being beat the game faster, right? I did a check, we landed on 99 episodes for our first go-round of this game. I didn't know the rules, I didn't know how to play, it was all in the open. We ended on 99. This time, uh, we're on episode, like, I haven't checked. 55, 55, 56, 54, like right around there. I'm gonna assume we're like somewhere right around there. What are you trying to get at? I don't want you to get at that. I want you to be assigned to this forever. Interesting. Um, you're assigned to this thing. I'm unsure as to why the confusion. Uh, anyway, let's just talk it over before I really get into stuff. Uh, I really wanted to do this better, faster, more efficient. I wanted us to not be freaking out about stuff that's missing all the time. Why? Are you, you can't even carry diesel? Oh, you, you can in your belly. Yeah, okay, that made sense. And then you better be rolling right over here, and you are. Good stuff. Okay. Might not even need a second hauler. But we're going to have one on the way. So, beat the game better, faster, stronger. Uh, more efficiently, all that. That was top of the list. Which I think, yeah, we're at least 20-some-odd episodes ahead. Behind? Something. We're something-something. That's all I've got. So that's really good. We're working on, oh yeah, microchip production level 2. 
Um, that probably just involves doubling up on this, but we have a lot already. So I'm not gunning for it, but that would be pretty cool. It's a general machine. Three teraflops, six teraflops, more workers, double the power, not double the maintenance, so it's slightly better net. It's slightly better net. None of the machines are going to be, oh my god, this cuts everything down like 97%. There's nothing like that. Um, there's a lot of small improvements that make a general system better and more easily flowing from one system or one... Let's see, there's processes that make systems better. And then as the systems connect to each other, they're more efficient in that regard. I think that's what I wanted to say about that. And that's all I had to say about that. Okay, you guys are probably pretty close to being done over here. Uh, actually, I think I want you to bother yourself with this. I would very much like to push metallurgics back, maybe, or... Or at least get things ready so that is a possibility. Now there is some iron here. Yeah, let's cut this down two lines probably. Something like that. And then this is quartz. It's not quartz for a little bit. We got a little room before it's full on quartz. So that and that. And that. That looks like quartz to me actually. Yeah, the whiter hue? The whiter, whiter, lighter, I don't know, whatever. I don't know, saturation? I don't know, I don't know color language enough. Okay, when that's done, I got your next stuff ready to do. How's this? How's the coal? Okay, it looks like, hold on. There's very little more left for us to get. Get that. So then, realistically, it's... This? And then, that's kind of the kit and caboodle, unless I want to demolish this down here. Uh, we widened this out already. How's our feed? Ooh, 50%. Ooh, not looking good. Not looking good. Anything I can... I could probably cut down some of these saplings. No, we've got two things full of saplings. I wouldn't mind a little more, actually. Um, I did turn on some veg. Let that to still resume. Um, I have a greenhouse ready. Are we on fruit? <clears throat> 8.8 over 60, we're making 10? I think that's good enough. Have you on alert? Have you on alert? Oh, I don't. There we go. Um, okay. That's all looking good. I didn't see any water pollution, so that's pretty dope. Uh, I'm gonna just do corn and potato. It's already at almost 100% soil fertility, so not worried about that. Um, I wouldn't mind... How many teraflops? 20, 33 out of 36? I wouldn't mind... 2... 4, 6... Oh! Uh, right. Color me silly, I forgot I turned you on. Um... Is it worth adjusting? Maybe? Maybe it's kind of worth adjusting, same as a little bit of kilowatt hours. Wow. Yeah, that's not nearly the two megawatts we were burning through before. Um, let's leave it at that. I think 34 teraflops is safe. Um, could upgrade this process, not really feeling it. We have 481 level three electronics. Uh, dump cannot reach destination. Ah, good call. Because... Do something like this. A 
That's quite a few trucks worth of crap. Okay, very busy. What is very busy? Idle 3. That does not sound good. What is being done here? There's 44 jobs involved with rock. That could be all the dumping trucks? That's insane. Um... Tempted to cut down the excavator numbers a bit with our other earth mover project. Uh, once this gets finalized here, uh, are you guys all holding rock? No, limestone. Which we're full of and we're low on sand. Okay. Uh, for giggles and craps, because these are two items that I'm going to need for a while. I'll just do the this dance. Hello. Here we go. Thank you. I don't have anything Unity boosted, do I? No, we're just not getting a lot of stuff. We're not getting a lot of Unity. Uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I do have the mine turned on. Yep, that's on. This is off. Yeah, I haven't need needed coal yet, which is good. That's flowing through very nicely. Um, I think we could probably just pause. So if I pause you, I think we figured this out. It still gets pumped in, right? Yeah, the ship is just what goes out to pick up more product. This part right here that actually pumps it in has al is already doing it. So unless I pause these guys, we're good. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I've removed all the trucks. Uh, I could set it to accept assigned only. That would help. Because what's happening is there's just a ton of trucks hauling rock. Uh, I'm going to add two more. Accepted only. So now what will happen is this will pop over almost immediately to stable. I think... Include mining trucks, include... Fifth, okay, the number's going absolutely bat crap. Uh, how about now? 49 jobs, that's crazy. Uh, the idle number's going up, so that's good. Yeah, okay, I think we're alright. A little clustery, but I think we're all right. Um, I don't need that or that anymore. Oh, nope. You can... Yeah, you don't be paused. You don't be paused. Okay, so where are we at with this? We've upgraded our feed. We've got more workers doing working things. I've got way more solars I want to plant. And now that we have a little bit of rock stabilization, I'm going to go ahead and add another big fat line of this stuff. Yoink. Uh, 1,320. Awesome. Please do make it so. Uh, one negative unity a month. I don't have anything boosted. Oh, you know what we could do real quick? Do that. Oh, water is low. Oh, okay. Water affects health. Health affects unity. Uh, how is the water reserve? Water reserve itself is great. You are not getting enough water. It's most likely because I just activated another farm. Those farms consume more water. So here's how we can guarantee a little bit better. Quick deliver. Quick deliver. We're just going to up this to a level 3. Because this also feeds all of the farms. Like I said, we just turned on a farm. That's probably where we're having a little bit of a hit. Okay. There are no level 4 pipes. So this is kind of it. Uh, this should be flowing pretty freaking hard. 
And then what I would expect is this to start filling up very quick. Yep. Yeah, easy. That's exactly the deal. Uh, 102 every 60. I think we've got a level 2 pipe. Yeah. So 102 every 60. I think we can deal with 160 every 60. Yep. Plenty. We're plenty ahead of the game. Perfect. Okay, so that should help out. There's full water. Yep, that corrected our unity pretty neatly. Cool. Uh, that's darn near full. Okay, how's our sulfur? Yep, wanted to get that full, fold up. Build up, fold up, whatever. Get that going. So as it stands right now, like I was trying to say, is we have more than enough spoils from our electronics conquest. We peeled quite a bit. Uh, there's nothing I can really trade for except microchips, if I want to go further down that line. I can't trade for electronics level 2 or level 3 using the contract mechanism. So what I'm producing is what I've got. Um, I can't actually buy electronics level 2, but we are very flush with that. I don't need any more of that. That's all good in the hood. So let this fill up. We're still working on sludge, which is inadvertently making us um, fuel gas, which is nice. Uh, what I could really do is probably cut some here. Uh, because this is... Uh, I can't right-click there. It's going to block it. Uh, I need the anaerobic digester compost. Sludge makes very little compost. What would probably make the most sense is building anaerobic digesters down here to massively process all this. Uh, not really in like the biggest hurry to get all that done. So, whatever. Uh, that can be on keep full. Cool. That removes a lot of sulfur out of our other system. This is the system I need to pay most attention to. That fills up like no freaking problem. Uh, yeah, how quickly do those solars get built? Probably pretty fast. Yeah, half of them are done already. Half of them, the other half are half done already. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Bit of a, bit of a walkthrough. We looked at everything. We talked through everything. I don't think there's anything else I really need to do right now. Uh, I'm going to be continuously building solars, but let's go ahead and take a break here. I'll just pause, or I'll just keep the game rolling. Yeah, so here's our save. Not a problem, and save. Not a problem. Yeah, we'll just keep it rolling. Like I said, I got nothing really changing going on. Um, this is gonna have to get refitted fairly soonish. I might also just leave them be, so that way they can actually, we can use the trucks to keep running stuff around, but either way. Yeah, I'll be back in just a minute. All right, time has happily been passing by. There hasn't really been much I needed to do. Um, as a really quick walkthrough, uh, changed over some of the coal, so we're just harvesting the last of that. Um, I switched over the mining that was doing earth moving to gold, and then back over to here, so I can get a little more room on the metallurgy side. More solars. A lot more solars. Uh, how about 350? 355, yeah. An amount. A pretty darn good amount. Uh, realistically, that's been it. So let's talk about some stuff that we've been getting since. So uh, we finished Arc Furnace Level 2. That's something I want to work on. We're almost done with Assembly Robotic Level 2. Another cool thing, not really critical, but... Oh, actually, it is critical for the tech tree. Not critical for what I was going to do. So we got that. We're actually getting quite a bit of fuel gas. I wanted to see how much fuel we were using. That's not what I want. Uh, is this what I want? That's not what I want. Uh, I can never remember where stuff is. That's not it. 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 That doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh, that's not what I want. Uh, oh, statistics. Eh, fuel. Okay, I want to know how much diesel we're using. 
production. I want to know not production. Minus total? Yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. So minus total. So how much are we actually burning through every single month? 147, 158. Okay, how much do I need to produce 160? 160 diesel if I convert it, convert it, <laughs> convert it away from fuel gas. I would need 10, 20 of these. No, 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 hold on, hold on. 24, okay. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. That's much better. Uh, eight? I would need eight of these. Then whatever 36 times eight is. 36 times eight, I need a thousand two hundred and ninety six fuel gas. And then the anaerobic digester, because sludge is really coming in quite a bit. Now, I have just about enough sulfur. I think we figured out we're slowly losing sulfur. Uh, but I am keeping up a bit with this. So I was just wondering how much if I got the anaerobic digesters. How much sludge would I need to make how much fuel gas? This is every 40. Oh, wow. Okay, so I divide it by it and a half. So it'd be 18 sludge. Uh, okay. So 1296 divided by 5. 260, let's just say. So 260 times 18... To make this process completely oil-free, I would need 4,680 sludge a month. Uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> that sounds insane. Uh, that also, that doesn't take into account how many anaerobic digesters I would need, which is insane. Uh, only real alternative would be to overproduce on vegetables goods fruits whatever digest that we've got some being made here some being made here yeah Ugh, it'd be way too much it'd be way way too much effort would be really cool um what we'd have to do is we'd have to build way more buses into our system Ensuring that less of the traveling path is being done by truck as much as possible. So, like, what's being brought around? Timber? We would take the timber, run it down, all the way, plug it in, that kind of a thing. So, we would really have to trim the fat on as much excavating as possible. Is it possible? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's possible. Is it Fun? Doable? That's uh, probably not a good conversation point. I don't know if I don't know if that all would just be inherently incredibly frustrating to balance. Um, also take into consideration other edicts. We have one diesel edict on. Um, a second one would be another addition. Ugh, two unity. Ow. Would be another 15 diesel saved. So you could probably get a little farther ahead with something like that, but realistically, that doesn't sound like any fun. Would be cool if. Um, what I would honestly like to see is if we could, with the critical technology lock unlocked to make food, excess food into diesel, I wonder how far you could get with doing a an oilless diesel run. Uh, granted, that's not how the tech tree works. That's not how any of this really works. So I think it'd be just inherently really painful, but it'd be really cool to see and figure out. Okay, assembly robotic. So rocket assembly and launch is next. We launch pad testing rocket requires hydrogen as fuel. We have so much hydrogen. We've been stacking up on hydrogen really freaking hard i'm literally turning fuel gas into hydrogen yeah and then we're using hydrogen in other parts of the plant um i would actually like to 
boost you. I think you're the one turning fuel gas into diesel. Yeah. Uh, you need six every ten. You can have te 12 every twenty. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, let's see. What else? What else is there really to say? Right now, we're sitting very, very clean. We're sitting very nice and tidy. So, like I said, now's a perfect time if we wanted to really kick this into overdrive. There's a ton of extra projects we could get our mitts on. We've got all the construction materials in the world, as you can see. A lot of these belts aren't moving, which means they're at full capacity. So, we're well over capacity. Silicon Poly, we're top of the charts. We're kicking it. We're kicking it style. Everything's looking really great. Um, I do have 150 more servers. Where are we? Here we are. Uh, 131. So I could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more hits for another 10 teraflops. If I wanted to do that, we could also upgrade our microchip manufacturing or electronics manufacturing. Honestly, if you've been taking a look at the number over here for electronics level 3, this number hasn't really been changing because we've had not only this full facility, but we've also had quite a bit in our, yeah, we're working it down in the shipyard. So really good order of operation that we did it. Go with the ship, do a bunch of raiding, kick a whole bunch of butts, and then come back and then use that technology. You've gotten all the electronics to ramp up your research. I've just been doing it with one lab. So yeah, that's all I really have for an update now. Uh, I'll take another break here. I'll see you in another minute. And just a little bit of a check-in. Everything's progressing really well. I don't know why I always say that like a question, but I don't mean it like a question. Uh, set up some new routes so I can get a little more trucks around a secondary route. There's still quite a bit of coal under here. I actually would like to get to. Some of it's a little uh, in troublesome areas, but I think uh, there's still plenty of coal to get in there. I have reset up the coal trade route with our, yeah, this guy. So we are getting a little bit of coal this way as well, just to keep things easy. As a refresher, we do have a ton of coal way back here. There is a lot, and I mean a lot of coal. Uh, I'm hoping that we don't even have to use it before the game's over. That would actually be pretty freaking neat. Pretty freaking neat. So, this is happening. Um, another thing that I got set up is I've added much more level 4 construction parts. Uh, if memory serves, I need like 1800 or 1500 or some real big amount of construction materials of this type. So, while this is all going on, we've got two silos full already, or two storages. This one is 66% filled already, so yeah, things are going pretty good. Um, I ramped up and added some unity onto these guys because that way the production will actually keep up. And then we've got just everything else. So everything's just smooth. Smooth, smooth. I haven't changed anything. Uh, oh, I paused... I paused gold production. I don't need this many workers sitting here doing literally nothing. We've got quite a bit of gold already stocked up. So I kind of figured, eh, just in case. Just in case there's like a natural disaster or health, health disaster, I should say. Uh, things are going pretty good. Also, I haven't changed anything about this. We still have 320 some odd uh, electronics level 3 sitting in that warehouse. Yeah, the shipyard's actually empty, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, that was my quick check-in. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just be back in a minute. And right on time, we just finished rocket assembly and launch. Hot diggity dang. Uh, that can get... Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, ba. I'm not doing any more research. Oh, where is it? Is it under general machines? Buildings, maybe? Hey, alright. Uh, construct space rocket delivers them to the nearest rocket launch pad by using a specialized transporter. Transporter is a large vehicle. You cannot drive under uneven terrain, so make sure the rocket launch pad is on the same height as this building. Awesome. Uh, enables launching rockets to space. After a rocket is delivered and securely attached to the tower, it will be filled with fuel based on the rocket type. This has to match the connected fuel. Fuel this tower fuel is never stored at the launch pad for safety reasons. Water also needs to be connected since the launch process requires a large amount of it for dampening the rocket's exhaust shock waves. Cool, cool. Ah, smells like progress. Can you smell that? Yeah. 
Good stuff. Okay, blueprint mode. I need 300 plus 1200. Okay, I need some of that action. I could put the rocket launch right here. That doesn't seem dangerous or anything. Um. Huh. I don't really have super strong feels where to put this. Uh, how much more of this mountain is going to go away? Uh, I mean, eventually all of it would. And this will eventually... All, like, there's so much that's going to be terraformed eventually. I almost don't see any problem putting it here because this is going to be fairly static. Right next to the governor's lodge. Lodge? Lodge? Lodge or whatever? Sure. There's the assembly depot. Uh, I want something like this, I think. There's a launch pad. Uh, let's freaking do it. What do you need? You need water. A fart ton of steel. Holy crap. We have water somewhere around here. That is... What is this? Yeah, this one's water. It connects rot air. Okay. Uh, I'll need another bridge in it's some it's some location here. Arch. Yeah, that seems pretty legit. So all of this is water. Cool, that worked. Um, fuel in rocket, right? We, we're not building the rocket yet. Uh, I need a testing rocket. Gold, circuits, and steel. No problem. Boop. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. Cyril Figus. I don't know why that name pops in with that sort of a name, but it does. Or that... Sort of rhyminess, I guess. A little rimmy rhymey. All the little timey. Yeah, honestly, this is going to cap off this season. Um, I honestly wasn't waiting super duper long for stuff to get finished up. I was happy with the the one research facility. I was happy with our chip production. I was happy with everything. Unity per launch? Sure. Auto-launch when ready. Uh, this is paused? Yeah, because still being built. I'm really hoping we got this figured out. I mean, that just made a lot of sense to me. Um, what I wouldn't mind... I'll just do that real quick. Just get some of this stuff stashed. Perfect. Yeah. Good deal. This map holds a lot of promise, much like our one before, but there's still so, so, so much uh, resource and a bit more research to finish, and there's just a lot that can be still done. So I could keep playing this, but I wanted to wrap this up. Like I said, uh, I wanted to revisit this game with the new version 2, or whatever technical version we're on. Or does it say what version? 055. Update 1. Right, right. We're, they're working on update 2. But I wanted to give this a swing. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. See what everything was changed. And really happy with how everything worked. Sorry, a little bit of work messages. Um, everything worked out and played very well. Our sustainability was through the frickin' roof. 
I want to say 100%. Sustainability, top notch. Uh, we had no health death spirals, and we had plenty of them in the first season. Was trying to learn how to play the game. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think, like I said, we had like three resource spiral issues. Uh, coal, diesel, which started with coal, copper, only because it didn't ramp up copper. Like there was, there was a couple of times when resources were kind of bad. But I think we're doing quite well now. I I have not really had to pause the game and rebuild a bunch of stuff. It's been pretty straightforward. Um, I don't want really this many materials anymore, so I'm just going to do this. And once that gets evacuated, it'll get put into here. Or take it to the construction, the construction site. Yep, that was all the materials. Uh, we only need 94 more. Oh. Yeah, 94, then 80 more of the T3 vehicle parts, which we're getting there. This is going to need a lot of concrete slab. That should help out a bit. <laughs> should help out a lot of a bit. Uh, steel I can't purchase, so... Yeah. Gonna be build up the thing, launch the thing, call that a season. Lots of lessons learned as well from our first season. Um, I never really got a good, firm grasp of this, I don't think. Um, I kind of think this is just burning fuel all the time, and maybe I don't have a firm grasp of the technology or how it's supposed to be used. But I think we did very well overall. Yeah, we're clear-cutting now that I spent our entire wood budget into the thing. Uh, yeah, let's get some more oil going on. Why not? Pick that up to level 2. This is... I can probably stay at level 2. How much coal do we even have? I could probably stay at level 2. What's everyone's problem here? Yep, can't get down there. That makes sense. Did this get all finished out? Not really. So they're coming around and then up if this gets totaled out. So, meh. Fine. I really tried to build another ramp. Didn't quite work out the way I hoped, but that's okay. What I needed was a flat... Actually, let's talk it out. What I needed was a flat landing. Um, so right now, this is angled up. This is angled up. What I would really need is some sort of a, a flattening of sort. Like that. So I'd have to flatten it out here and then redo the ramp. But the problem is everything else is based on that. So I can't really dink with that too, too much. I'm honestly not going to have to very soon. Yep, there we go. There's a the launch pad, baby! And we're very close to getting this, at least closer. Um, the steel, the circuits are going to be no problem. I I want to check on the steel. Uh, yeah. It's going to take about as long as it's going to take. Uh, what was I saying? The gold in the circuits are going to be fine. Um, what I can do is to save on steel because this needs steel. Oh, it needs so little steel. Never mind. <laughs> I thought some of these processes took way more steel, but they don't. Really no point in me pausing the process. Uh, what else? What else can we talk about our run? What else is there to talk about? Oh, uh, no medical stuff. We didn't know medical stuff at all. Now, we are getting flus more often. And I think that's based directly on more people. I think that's really where that's coming from. So, with less people, I think we were doing just fine. Uh, all things considered. Right now, that's where this is a little touchier than most. Um, let me guess. You're trying to get to... Uh, are any of you trying to get to construction parts T1? You are. Uh, can I buy those? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what I'll do. Hold on. Uh, there's no point in me... Yeah, quick deliver. Quick deliver. I made that easy. 
Yeah, we don't have too much more to wait on. The Oh, the only health thing, let's go back to that. The only health thing I did was the health edict. Um, which is right here. Plus 10. But we have usually had enough people around, enough workers, so that we, we wouldn't have really strong death spirals. Um, we overbuilt gold, so that's being paused. All the research stuff is paused. We can build a bit of a buffer, understanding that, yes, we are going to lose some people. Uh, realistically, what I did last season to compensate for that was go over and make the hospital with surgical equipment or medical supplies or whatever. And even the level one stuff provided a lot of extra unity. Well, and and health, obviously. But this time I wanted to see how far we could push the envelope. I think we pushed it pretty well. Let's take one last look at our settlement. We had six of the built-up pieces, level three housing, and four of the level two. I could have always upgraded if we wanted more. This is all this, all nice and done. Really happy with this food system. It took a little bit of work, but it worked out well. We still have one farm I've been turning like on and off. Uh, it's solar farm number two. Then also we have our water bits and the reserves are probably, yeah, the reserves are still very, very high. And we learned this trick earlier. Gold ore, yeah. Good stuff. And then solar farm level, our, our first solar farm. Now I wonder how much resource is buried here. Wow, 27,480 solar panels were made to put there. Then what's this one? Uh, 18,600. We really did a very, very, very strong eco push. No doubt about it. We really hit that as hard as we could, I think. Worked out pretty friggin' well. Worked out pretty friggin' well. How are you doing here? Still making the parts, doing the things? Ah. Yep, that'll do it. That'll do it every friggin' time. So who's the lucky winner that's gonna come get stuff? Two of ya, nice. Oh, I can just quick deliver the parts for the rocket? For seven unity? That seems like cheating. As un... As uncritical as this is, this seems almost like cheating. I'm oh, it takes 24 teraflops. Okay. Uh, I have 34. Yeah, just turn on the server farm. 44 T flops. I'm missing 12 more machine parts, vehicle parts. Low supply of diesel? Oh no! Oh no! Uh, fuel's coming. We're good. Uh, if we want to, we could easily adjust throughput, which I'm going to anyway. Oh, I already did. It's already at 2x. Okay. Well, never mind. Uh, priority? Come on, one more hit. And there it is. There's the last four that's sitting right in that warehouse. Hey buddy, go get- oh. Someone else? Sure. That works just as well. Not enough workers. 160 workers. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well. I don't need all of that. Which means I don't need any of that. How many workers? Minus two. Cool. There you go. Uh, I bet you any money I don't have the steel. Uh, bring me all the stuff. I'll leave it on auto. Even that is not taking a really huge chunk out of our electronics level 3. Yeah. Yeah. That was really good. 
We played this a little tighter as well with the bus. We did the bus setup a little earlier with everything. Uh, that reduced how many trucks we needed. We didn't have to go super ham on maintenance. Two of the level ones, one level two, one level three worked out very well. Really happy with all that. Yeah, once we built out our Tech 2 Mark 1 system for iron and copper uh, and steel. I haven't changed any of that. Uh, glass needed a little changing with the new Glass Maker Level 2. All of this is still doing this stuff. Low supply of gold. Yeah, you're not going to believe this. We took most of it. And actually, you're not the one that needs alerts anymore. You are. Perfect. So we have plenty of gold still. How's this coming along? And it's being built. Quick deliver. Nice. By the power of friendship. <laughs> Unity represents how tight-knit your community is, so to speak. Uh, making sure services are provided, people are fed, there's housing. All that is summated at the end of the month. Any excess stuff is given to you in the form of Unity. Unity is also used as a currency for other processes such as offshore oil rigs and coal mines and stuff require Unity to run in, in addition to workers. That's kind of how that works. Yeah, this is going to launch and we're going to call this Season 2. I'm looking forward absolutely to Update 2 and other things that are going to come from this company, not even just this game. But with how much promise I feel was into this, uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty freaking excited about everything. So the rocket itself is being made. It's going to be put into the thing, and then we'll get a prompt uh, for adding fuel, I believe. So this shouldn't take super much longer. Um, I don't think I have anything else I really want to highlight. We did petrochem the right way this time. We had very little overflow of anything. I remember I was handling a lot more heavy oil last time. Um, just storing it. Uh, we were able to get rid of some sulfur, turn that into sludge. Sludge is being turned into fertilizer. Oh, here's the guy. So yeah, I, I'm very happy with this season. Yeah, I think we did this, what, like 40 episodes faster? Yeah, once I understand the game, it's pretty dang cool. And I've got a really firm grasp of the mechanics. I can actually play to a much higher uh, proficiency, I want to say. Other than that, when playing something right away fresh, it's always awkward. Because I don't know all the gimmicks, I don't know all the strats. But I think we did very well this time. And now that it's linked, it should ask for fuel in rocket. I don't believe trucks will bring fuel. I think I'll have to pipe it in, but we have so much hydrogen. Ain't no thing, baby. Ain't no thing. Uh, down to the height two, perfect. Perfect, nope, come on, you can do it. There you go. What a guy. Uh-huh. Is there... Oh! Ha! Ah. I built it like an idiot, that's why. Okay, that's fine. Still goes underground. I don't really much of a much of a much care about that. No one can get to T1 construction materials anyway. I blocked it in really, really hard. Um, I guess I also never got to redoing the bus, which is fine. Um, spreading out more. My whole idea was to get coal out of here completely done, then pull all of this. Like, take all of this and pull it down way farther so we had more room. We could build, like, a highway. Um, our highway got a little chopped up a bit because of how everything laid out, but I'm still pretty happy with it. Still pretty happy with the fuel in rocket. There we go. 
this is still always very deceiving because it shows you 100% of what's in the pipe. So if you're looking at it and it's like 10%, well, some of that percent ought to be getting over here. But realistically, 100% signifies that 1% from one side can successfully make it all the way to the other side. So that takes care of that. That's why I had to wait for 100% really before any of it really showed up. Uh, it will auto-launch. Nice. Yeah, I think that went frickin' brilliantly. Much cleaner than our last run. Everything played very, very well. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything to say. Thank you very much to Mafi. I think I've mispronounced that about only three or four dozen times. But the entire organization has done a very, very good job. Get every, getting everything going, making sure all the updates are happening, constant feedback from the crew, the community, and everything. And it's just it's just been a great experience. Oh my. And this gives you an idea. So many people working and dedicating and everything. Okay, now you can go back and finish flattening the entire island. <laughs> oh man. Not gonna happen, but really cool, right? So that's it. Congratulations, Captain, against all odds you built a thriving industrial empire and launched a rocket to space. This is the end of the content for the early access version, right? We've already seen that last season. So that's it. So thank you all for joining me. My name is John Megacycle, and this has been our second season of Captain of Industry. Now that we know new, new, what am I playing, Chrono Trigger, new? Uh, now that we've learned all the tips and tricks and understood how the game actually works, I think we did a much better job. Also, thanks again to the, the content creators, the, the community and the staff for working through and making sure all the updates have been as clean and as helpful as they have been. So yeah, let's do one more. Let's kill the music. Save our game, both sides. And that's it. Thank you all for joining me. Really appreciate all the support and the views and the comments and all that. Yeah, my name is John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.